Hello, this is Mike from Surge Tech Academy, and today I'm going to demonstrate gowning and gloving yourself with the closed glove technique. Gowning and gloving yourself happens after you've scrubbed your hands and is an area that I have found to have a very high incidence of contamination, either by dripping water on the back table or having the towel touch your scrub top. Now, normally I would be backing into the operating room, uh, but since this is a lab, I'm gonna just simulate it. Now, Make sure that when I'm backing into the operating room, my hands are above my elbows and are between my axillary line and my waist. And I will stand always 12 to 18 inches directly in front of the back table. Now, bending at the waist and keeping the elbows bent, pinch and lift the towel from the sterile field with the right hand without dripping or touching the sterile field. At this point, I'm gonna back away about three to five feet, making sure the towel does not touch my scrub top. And then I bend slightly at the waist so the towel doesn't touch. So, uh, watching experienced scrub techs, you'll find this is an area that they most contaminate. You know, they're too busy talking to their friends, hey, how's it going, or talking to your circulator, and their towel will oftentimes touch their scrub top. But we're not gonna do that, all right? So making sure I'm drying my hands, each section, all right, do not going back and forth. This is a no-no, all right? We're starting at the fingers and patting very slowly down to the elbow. At this point, with the towel remaining in my right hand, I'm gonna go underneath the towel and I'm gonna do the second uh, right arm. Again, patting slowly, making sure it's completely dry, not going back and forth, and then stopping when I get to the elbow. Now I'm gonna discard the towel in a proper receptacle or give it to a member of the non-sterile surgical team. Do not bunch it up. Do not throw it across the room. <laughs> Those are all no-no's. All right, so now that uh, we've dried our hands, I'm gonna secure the gown by grasping the center of the gown near the neck with one hand and lifting the gown off the sterile field. Now I think the best way to do this is to look at the gown before you pick it up. If the cuff of the gown is on the left side, pick it up with your left hand. If the cuff is on the right side, use your right hand. So this cuff is on the left, so I'm gonna use my left hand to pick it up. Be sure that the gown remains folded as you back away from the field. Continue to always face the field. All right, I'm gonna grasp the top of the gown near the neck and gently unfold the gown. I'm gonna place my hands inside the gown, inside the sleeves, and extend until I reach the sleeve cuff. Now, I like to always tell my students, it's called, it's like swimming. I'm swimming forward. And this does a couple of things. One, I think it keeps us always facing our back table. But two, I've actually seen scrub techs who swim this way and they hit IV poles, hitting their circulator, doing all sorts of things. So always go forward with your gown. Now, I'm in my gown. My fingers are behind the white cuff. I'm gonna glove. All right, I found gloving it's probably the hardest thing for students to learn, which is why I'll have them practice gowning maybe once, but doing gloves three times. So with my hands still in the gown cloth, remaining over the sterile field, uh, I will go ahead and open the package of my gloves. Now I like to do the left glove first. So with my right hand, I'm going to pick the left glove up. Make sure that the left thumb is touching the left thumb of my hand and make sure that the fingers are going up my arms. I'm going to pinch and extend over the glove. Now, don't be gentle with this. All right, this glove is made of latex, not crystal. So sometimes I'll see students barely stretching that glove over, which makes it very, very difficult to glove. And then I like to pull the gown, not the gloves, extending my fingers into the glove. Now, because this is still sterile, I can touch my fingers on my gloves. And then again, pulling on the gown. And there we have a good left hand. All right, I'm gonna repeat these steps for the other glove. I'm gonna grab the right glove, making sure that the thumb of the glove touches the thumb of my hand. Fingers are pointing up the sleeve, grasping with my thumb and my index finger and extending over the cuff. 
when I get to this area, pulling on my gown, again, I can touch the glove, making sure that uh, all my fingers are inside the holes and then extend the glove onto my hands. Now, I like that my cuffs, I tell my students to put them along the ridge of the knuckles. And I like this because it helps prevent contamination. If we get too far back, the gloves tend to ride up and will extend and we'll be able to see the white of the cuff. If they are on the knuckle, it's very difficult for a contamination. Now, lastly, all right, we want to turn the gown, right? So making sure that the circulator has a firm grip on it, I'm going to grab the tag with my right hand and I'm going to grab the tail with my left hand, all right? I'm going to pull off with the right, give the tag to the circulator and turn. Now, you will notice that in turning, I did expose my back to the back table. So sometimes when I pass the tag off to the circulator, the circulator will actually turn and I will stay centered on the back table. All right, they're gonna pull the tag off, they're gonna hang on to it, and we are going to tie the gown. And that, my friends, is how to gown and glove yourself using the closed gloving method. So until next time, have a great day in surgery, and remember to be a superstar in your OR. Thank you.